me here at Zeppelin Zeppelin's Corner, and today we're going to be giving you another review. Simple review. It's nothing more than another set of headphones, and it's the type that most people really use every day. They are the alternative to the Apple AirPods, and they're known as simply the Black Pods. Now, you may see a few people walking around the streets with something like this. Now, they're not the actual AirPods as we know because the actual AirPods do not come in black and these are black, hence the name Black Pods. We can call Apple AirPods because they're just not made by Apple. So why not give it the name that it's based off the color and they are black. Now, these are an inexpensive alternative to the Apple AirPods. Simply being that the Apple AirPods are pretty pricey for those who do not wish to spend a hefty 100 and change or almost $200. And if you wish to go to the Pro version, the Pro version is a little bit more, something more like 250, close to $300. And who wants to spend that on some consumer headphones? I mean, I know I don't. These were the alternative for me to just give it a try that if I wish to go and purchase some actual Apple AirPods or anything a little bit more than or a little bit less, but still pretty good, that these will give me the idea if I should spend more money. And actually, I got a chance to look at the Unbox Therapy version review of these, and that's what got me to wanting to get those. $50 is not too hefty. I could live with whatever comes with the cost of that price. And for these, what I found is simple. They work. Do they work as well as any Apple product? I don't think you really should assume that they will. They do work identical to the setup when pairing it for the first time. The phone sees it, it connects, you put it in the air, and, it, and it's good to go. Um, that's really good. And uh, I thought that was going to be where my adventure gets really good. Unfortunately, I found that some of the issues with these are identical to what happens when you actually have a pair of actual Apple Pods, AirPods. What is that issue? Well, for some reason, I've asked people who actually own a pair, hey, do your headphones go out rather quickly when you're putting them into use? And they said, yes, they would play them, they would use them 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then that's about it, and then they have to charge it and use and reuse it again later on. That, to me, that's a bit of a, a letdown. I want something to play consistently. Whatever length of time that the pods work for in that length of time that they should work for, the charge should last at least a good two hours at least. Now, I'm not too sure about the newer ones. Uh, I'll probably actually go get a pair of the newer ones and see what they do. Would they last a lot longer? One would hope so. These don't last nearly as long as I think even the Apple AirPods really do. So I get a good decent charge according to the website, charge it for 24 hours and you will get a full three hour case battery, if I'm not mistaken. The the case will be will stay charged for three hours and the pods itself will give you something like an hour or so of playtime. I haven't experienced that as yet. Not one full hour, maybe, maybe 45 minutes or something like that. I may have gotten that far. Most of the experience with using these is that they last about 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops. And usually one will go out before the other. And that's a bit troublesome. I want the whole stereophonic feel if I have two, I don't want one. Now, if I want one, it's only so I could probably just talk for a few minutes on the phone with them. And they work pretty well in that department. But with the both of them in the air, uh, in either one, whether it's two or one, you get this annoying beeping sound. And suddenly you know that your headphones are dying. And I thought that once they start to die, you put it in the case, you probably get like 10 minutes and then boom, put them back in the air. Mm, not so fortunate for me. So are these worth the $50? They're about $69, $79 online now. And I don't know if they're really worth it. I'm not going to spend another 80 to see if that experience is a better, worse experience than this. Uh, and if I spend that kind of money on another knockoff, I might as well just buy the actual one and call it a day. Now, the reason why I got this is because my phone is black. 
bam, you know, matte black finish. Uh, you know, really, it's not the, 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 the back of the phone itself. The Well, let's just do it like this. Right. So this is my phone, as you can see, nice and shiny black in the back. And this is the case that goes with it. See, boom. So I thought it makes sense. Matte black phone meets a matte black headphones. And they really do look nice, really, when you take it out of the case. They're pretty, and I don't have a problem with them. The only problem I have is they just don't last the length of time that I wish they would last for. And that is kind of the part where I have to say for fifty dollars, oh, it may not be the best fifty dollars ever spent. Now, I'm not. They're not broken. They're not in any way, shape, or form damaged. Uh, I've not dropped them. I've not damaged it or put it in the water or anything like that. Uh, I really still do think, you know, it's a great look, you know, matte black on, on matte black on black, you know. So I figured that was a good look, but outside of the look of it all, uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I should point out, um, they do fit in your ear rather simply and, um, they stay in there for a while. One of the issues I do have is that whenever I feel like it's going to fall out, I push it back in and I would always cut it off, cut off the call or cut off the sound that I'm listening to because there is an operation in the setting that you have to go into and cut off when you touch it. What are you activating? A lot of times I always activate Siri. So it literally operates just like the Apple AirPods. So just go in a setting and you'll be able to cut it off and do what you need to do. So that is good. But the only issue is it always feels like it's coming out my ear. I don't know if I have small ears or anything like that, but this is what it looks like in air. And it's pretty comfortable, you know, once it stays in there. But I guess, you know, it just does not want to stay there and it just keeps popping out. The ad will have you believe that you could jump around, do cartwheels, and they just do not fall out of your ear. I personally don't think that is true. At least that may be for the newer ones. Now, these you cannot do that with. So, uh, they stay in, but they can easily fall out. Now, that is the only thing that I think is my biggest gripe is that they just never seem to stay in. What do you guys think? For those who have these, do you have the same experience? Do you have a better experience? Um, let me know in the comments and below, and let's have a discussion about should these even be out there? I mean, I still think they look cute though. So, I mean, they're so identical to the Apple pods and um, I really like them. I think they're cute as far as the look. I like the look of it. Let me rephrase that. I like the look of it. Um, I like the sleek design of it, but unfortunately it doesn't really live up to the actual Apple pods because they are a knockoff after all. And rumors has it that they are made in the same place as the Apple Pods, but you know, hey, they just put black on this one and they shipped it off. So that is the rumor that has been told, but I, I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, that's my two cents on how these are. The black pods, it's up to you if you wish to spend $50 and just go with the experience. Your experience might be different than mine. So take it or leave it. Hope you guys like what I had to give you here today on Zero's Corner. Hit the little belly thing to let you guys know I'm coming with stuff. I'm coming with stuff and I shall see you soon.